Hi, I am Dr. Hirana Pa B. Vudnur, practicing at Sakar Nagar at Inspire Specialty Clinic. Asthma, it is usually a self-diagnosis or physician diagnosis. We don't need much of the tools to diagnose asthma. Diagnosis of asthma is easy actually, but we need certain confirmatory studies, more of objective tools to make a confirmation of an asthma. If somebody is having a long-standing history of all these uh, symptoms like wheeze, cough, chest tightness, which keeps on coming on and off, and uh, there is an early morning wheeze, and there is a definite allergy history or atopic history and the family history, then it's easy to diagnose an asthma. We don't need any other device to diagnose as asthma. With the uh, auscultation, all those things confirm. It's most, m mainly dependent on the history, long duration of history that uh, clinches the diagnosis of asthma with uh, auscultatory or uh, physical findings with bilateral expiratory V's. Uh, then we document that he is an asthmatic. Sometimes certain diseases, all that V's is not asthma. So certain other viral infection can cause V's. So you should be careful to make a diagnosis of an asthma. We need a long duration of symptoms. Along with that, sometimes we have a difficulty in diagnosis of asthma. We need, a, we take a help of a peak flow meters where we monitor morning and evening maximum expiratory flow in the first second. This will be monitored by the small device. So with those device, we monitor over a two week chart and morning and evening, if at all any kind of symptom variability is there, then we can diagnose an asthma. Other tool is a spirometry or a lung function test. When there is a, uh, when you do the lung function test, normally when you take a deep breath in the three or five seconds, we should be able to force all the air what you have taken after a deep breathing. So in a force expiratory breathing maneuver in a spirometry, uh, in the first second, if somebody is not able to blow out 70% or 80% of their uh, whatever uh, air which is been taken, then we say that it is obstruction and we can repeat it by using the bronchodilator or a nebulization salbutamol and check for the reversibility testing where if there is a 200 ml improvement or a 12% improvement, then we confirm the diagnosis of asthma. That's how we diagnose asthma. Regarding an asthmatic attack, how do you identify an asthmatic attack? So somebody who is having a stable asthma or sometimes who is not a known asthmatic also, he comes with a worsening symptoms of wheeze, chest tightness, breathing difficulty and with the auscultatory finding of this thing which is more than the stable state on a routine activity, sudden worsening of the clinical status is there, then we can identify uh, an asthmatic attack. Usually there should be some kind of triggers like if there is a dust exposure or an infection or an emotional trigger. There are many identifiable triggers or if there is a construction work is going nearby these triggers will help us to identify what is the cause for an asthmatic attack and you treat it uh, accordingly